This is a whole hot mess right now. Oh girl, white. Her acrylic is very watery. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Destiny. Staying at home has forced me to become my own beautician. I've learned how to do these braids. I've learned how to do strip lashes. I am now at the point where I can no longer look like this. I'm going to do my own full set of acrylics without any guidance. I don't even know if I have all the tools. No matter what happens, my nails will be done. The world could end and my nails will be done. We gotta go. We're getting length, darling. We're getting length. Hi, my name's Anthony. I'm a nail artist and I'm gonna be reacting to Destiny doing her nails for the first time. So before I ever decided to get into nails, I was actually in the military for six years. It's very structured. I decided to get out because I wanted to change my creative appearance. So I found my journey to becoming a nail tech through school. I always wanted to get my license. So if you decide to take the school route, it's gonna take relatively five months. That's why I'm interested to see Destiny create her own nails without any experience. I'm gonna have somebody like rip apart this tutorial and I obviously don't know what I'm doing. So I just cut my nails down and I filed them even. She has really good nail beds, probably because she's let her nails grow out and she hasn't got nails done for a while. I just went back over and cleaned off my nails. If you do have polish on, you always remove the polish first. You cut the nails and then you do file them down. If they want their nails shorter. So far she's doing pretty good. It's gonna wait until she gets to the acrylic part. The next step was to figure out what sized nail tips I need. This honestly was the hardest part for me. I don't really know what they're looking for. Like this thumb I think is probably the right size. This index finger I can tell you definitely was not. When we size nail tips to our clients, we always look for the nail tip where it doesn't dig into the side of your skin. So us nail techs don't put the nail tips back into the nail tip case when we're sizing our clients because it contaminates our other nail tips and we don't want that. So the next step was to glue down the tips. I realized very shortly after that this was way too much glue because the nail was slipping and sliding literally everywhere and it took forever to get this first nail down. But pretty much after I had this left hand done, the right hand was really easy even though I'm right dominant. Adding more glue because whoever said more glue is not right. Okay. So she did put a lot of glue on. <laughs> if you put too much glue, it's not gonna stick very well. One thing that she didn't do was prep her nail. But before you even glue your nail tip on, you wanna prep the nail. So you wanna buff it out and get the shine off. That way your nail tip lasts way longer. And then the next step was to file the nails so it would blend. Come to find out later, I didn't actually blend it all the way right, I don't think, but I thought I did something. I actually didn't have one of those like nail tip clips, so I just use these scissors and I'll file making sure they're like even and matched up. Now to the fun part that we've all been waiting on. So actually, I'm gonna pause it right now because I noticed that she missed a step and she forgot to prime her nail. What primer does, it actually helps the acrylic stick to your natural nail. That way your nails last longer. And she did not do that. I didn't know how much or how little to actually apply. And so I just globbed the product on. Oh girl, why? The reason why her acrylic is very, very watery and gooey is because she has too much liquid on her brush. Then it's gonna flood your cuticles and it's just gonna make a big mess. I'm surprised, I wanna see the end of this because <laughs> So of course, what you must do to the left, you must do to the right. So here's me doing the other side of my hand. Again, it was just literally all over the place, shaping it, getting the right amount of powder. I think I used more products on the paper towel than I actually used on my nail. You never wanna get your paper towel to look that messy. It damages your brush and then all that acrylic just stays in your brush. This is a whole hot mess right now. Now is the time where we're like, get heavy into this filing. So this is something similar that she had. This is a 150 by 150 coarse grit. So the more coarse you use for acrylic nails, the less coarse you wanna use for your natural nails. It's all over the place, but I mean, I think they pass, right? Like until you get real close up on it, then that's a different conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, time to get to a design. Now she's getting into the creative part, which I'm so excited for to see what she's gonna actually do to her nails. I had this one style a while back where it looked like paint running down my nails, but instead I'm going to make it the pride rainbow colors. So I started with my base coat and I cured it. And the next step was to use like these dotting tools with the polish and kind of like 
start making the base of what was supposed to be the drip. It made sense in my head and it looks good in my head, but then when I started to look at it, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. This doesn't look like the design that I had in my head. It's very creative. It's cute. I love the colors that she chose. They're very like neon pigmented. I don't think I had the right brushes. I know I for sure didn't have the right technique, but y'all, your girl tried. When it came down to it and I had put on this last top coat, I was not happy. I mean, for her first time, honestly, it looks really good. It looks cute. I was over it, so I was like, I'm gonna try a different design. So I filed this off and went with an ombre. I just put the polishes on like this little sponge so they would ombre through and then I just ran them across my nails like so. I knew she was gonna do a rainbow look. I knew it, I knew it. It came out really cute and honestly that's a technique that I use sometimes is you wanna get one of those like makeup sponges and you wanna layer your polishes and you can literally do the same exact look like that. And they turned out better than I had anticipated. I did get polish all over my fingers, but they turned out good. They turned out good. After I applied all of the colors, I cured it again for the last time. So I noticed that she cured her gel before cleaning around her cuticles. In order to clean that, you would just get like a, any brush with acetone and you just want to clean that up. The gel polish doesn't dry until you cure it under the light. So I don't know how she took that off but i'm pretty sure it wasn't easy what is pride without a bit of sparkle so to top it off i added like this sparkly coat that i felt really brought some texture and fun that's really cute i love the glitter and here's the design but the nails itself like when you get real close up on it it's like girl you definitely did this by yourself and you had no kind of help whatsoever this is truly my first time ever doing it so i think in passing it works. I like that style. The glitter that she put on actually like brought it out even more. If I had to rate her nails from a scale of one to 10, I would have to give her a six. Her creativity was on point. Her overall application on putting the acrylics, she didn't do too well. It came out lumpy. She over her cuticles probably caused a lot of filing to do and then her nails are eventually going to start lifting but for her first time not even having a tutorial in front of her she did pretty good i love doing what i do and i love making people feel good about themselves for all my males out there if you ever thought about becoming a nail tech go for it there's not enough males in this industry you got to represent at the end of the day you got to do what makes you happy